I was walking down this little ravine on the way over to Maurice and there's about this little patch sticking out and at first I was I thought it was for sure just an ironstone concretion it looked like that on the surface and I broke a little piece off and it's bone and what's interesting is it's super dense bone like you'd expect from a packy cephalosaur dome I'm gonna carefully go in and dig this up and see what it might be. It's about 34 degrees right now. Currently freezing my ass off, walking up there to get my jacket and some digging supplies to work on another site. Yesterday, I found that unusual lump and my theory was because the bone was so dense that it could be three things, it could be part of a pachycephalosaur skull dome, part of an ankylosaur skull, or part of the big club that's on an ankylosaur tail. So we'll see how it goes. Here's the progress on our mystery find. And at this point, with how dense this bone is, you can see there's almost no porosity to it. There's a little concretion on the outside, which kind of prevents us from seeing the surface texture of the bone which would help us identify what it is. But with that density of bone, this shape, this curious little indentation right here, I think there's only three things that this could potentially be. Part of a pachycephalosaur skull, part of an ankylosaur skull, or part of an ankylosaur tail club. I, don't, I just don't think there's anything else in the Hell Creek that would have that kind of bone density and have this kind of shape to it. Man, oh man, if it if it does turn out to be one of those things, I'm I'm just going to lose it cuz both of those, Pachycephalosaur and Ankylosaurs are my favorite dinosaurs from the Hell Creek. Finding part of a skull of one of those would really just be a dream come true. Today I'm going to be working on this specimen which to the naked eye looks like a rock. I'm almost positive that this is actually something really really special and i showed it to a few friends and they weren't so sure but i'm pretty confident at what this is <laughs> so far and you can see that it kind of has this ornate ornamentation this kind of little stippled blocks of, of armor it can be a little hard to see in the blast chamber just because there's so much media going through the air so it makes it a little blurry that is the process shot so far
this is the final product from our mystery fossil that we've been working on. And at this point, we're pretty sure we know exactly what it is. Um, this is almost certainly the tail club from an ankylosaurus dinosaur. You can tell that it's a tail club because of this ornate surface texture, all these little ridges and bumps on here, as well as the density of the bone. So this is the distal end of the ankylosaur tail, or the very tip of the tail. And over here, where you have this little cut in right here, this is where these reinforced vertebrae, the last vertebrae of the tail, would plug in and articulate onto that. And on the other side here, you would have another lobe, just like this one, that would be on the other side of those vertebrae. And those vertebrae needed to be really reinforced and strengthened with ossified tendons, that way the ankylosaur could swing this heavy club at high velocities for self-defense.